Hey guys, it's Ashlyn and welcome back to Storytime with AJ and Life Vlogs. So today, um, I am going to be reading an, an Easter book because the day I'm filming this, it is the day before Easter Sunday. Um, so I have another Berenstain Bear book for you like the one I read at um, Valentine's Day, which was two months ago, and I haven't posted since because I've been so busy. But I am back with the book by Mike Berenstain called The Berenstain Bears and The Berenstain Bears Easter Parade. So let's start reading this book. I love these books because they always start with some sort of saying at the front, so let me read it to you. The Berenstain Bears Easter Parade. When fresh spring flowers put forth their buds, it's time to get out your Easter duds by Mike Berenstain, based on the characters created by Stan and Jan Berenstain. It was the day before, it was the first day of spring in bear country. The last patches of winter snow were melting in the warm sun. The first Spring flowers were poking up their brightly colored heads. Robins sang in the green budding trees, and the Bernstein and the Bear family family's treehouse home. The kitchen window was wide open. Papa Bear sniffed the fresh spring air and he read his newspaper at the breakfast table. Look at this, he said, holding up the front page. Mayor Honeypot says that Bear Country will have an old-fashioned Easter parade this year. There will be prizes for the best-dressed family. We are all invited to attend in their brightest spring finery. That sounds like fun, said Mama. It would be nice to have a reason to dress up in something special for a change. You said it, said Sister. I can wear a big Easter bonnet with all kinds of fancy frills, bows, and feathers. But Brother Bear wasn't so sure. He was happy wearing his plain red shirt and blue pants every day. What's the matter with our regular clothes, he said. Why do we have to get all dressed up? Oh, don't be a stick in the mud, said Sister. It is a fun, it's fun to do something different once in a while. I don't think so, he said. I like wear, I like things to be the same. But we wear the same clothes every day, said sister. Don't you get tired of that? Nope, said brother. That way I always look like me. Sister sighed and rolled her eyes. I would like to get out my fancy old duds, said Papa. Remember the clothes I wore when we got married, my dear? I do indeed, said Mama. You looked very handsome. I'll bet they're still up there in the attic, said Papa. Let's go take a look. Papa led the way. Even Brother wanted to see what Papa uh, looked like 
in his fancy old duds. The attic was full of all kinds of things the bear family was saving. Papa opened a big dusty trunk. Here it is, said Papa, pulling out his old suit jacket and putting it on. It was it was a little moth eaten and much too tight when Papa tried to close it a button popped off and shot across the room whoa there buddy said mama <laughs> you're going to put someone's eye out sister poked around in the trunk and found a fancy hat she put it on and looked at herself in a cracked mirror that belonged to grizzly gran when she was young said mama isn't it beautiful it's beautiful, said sister, but it is sort of falling apart. Bits of ribbon and feathers were coming off. These fancy clothes are very nice, said Mama, but I don't think we can wear them, um in the Easter parade. They're they're just too old. Well, we'll have to go out and buy brand new outfits. Oh no, brother groaned. Clothes shopping. Boring. Speak for yourself, said sister, heading down the stairs. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So in spirit of brothers' moans and groans, they all went in into the family car and headed up to Bear Country Mall to buy new things for e the Easter parade. The mall was full of busily shopping. The mall was full of bears busily shopping for spring clothes. Mama led them to a big department store. May I help you, madam? Asked the clerk. You certainly may, said Mama. My whole family needs new clothes for the Easter parade. The, clerk, the clerk called for help. And soon Mom, Mama, Papa, Sister, and even Brother were trying on new clothes. Brother? Okay, look at that. Brother looks so mad. <laughs> I actually like clothes shopping, so I'm more like sister. <laughs> They're all, sorry, they all look splendid in their new Easter outfit, but brother didn't think so. I look silly, he muttered, looking in the mirror. I think you look very handsome, said sister. Ugh, said brother. As they drove home with their car full of boxes and bags. Brother was still grumpy and frowning. Come now, brother, said Papa. I'm sure you'll feel different on Easter Sunday when everyone in Bear Country will, dre will be dressed up in their finest for the big parade. Humph, <laughs> humph, said brother. Papa sighed and rolled his eyes. Easter Sunday soon arrived, and after church and a little Easter candy, the Bear family got ready for the parade. Brother was very unhappy about having to wear a tie. I can't tie this thing, he groaned. I'll show you how, said Papa. Around and around and up and through. Soon they were ready. M my, said Mama, lo looking them over proudly. What a beautiful family I have. My tie is too tight, complained Brother. Mama sighed and rolled her eyes. When they drove into Beartown 
before the start of the parade, it was quiet. A, it was quite a sight. Hundreds of bears, all in their Easter best lined main street. Mayor and Mrs. Honeypot were on a reviewing stand to pick out the best outfits. A brass band came marching down. Officer Marguerite directed traffic. Chief Bruno was dressed as an Easter bunny and he handed out baskets of candy. Mayor gave the signal for the starting line ribbon to be cut. Everyone streamed past the reviewing stand and the band played an old tune called Easter Parade. When the Bear family marched proudly past, brother overheard Mrs. H Miss Honeypot. Don't they all look darling? She said, especially that cute little brother bear. Brother blushed right through his fur. But then he caught sight of himself in a store window. I guess I do look pretty good, he said to himself. After that, sorry. After they all filed past, the mayor called the bear family up to the reviewing stand. He held out a big shiny trophy and the prize for best dressed fa family, said the mayor, goes to the bear family. The whole crowd cheered and clapped. Brother stepped right up to take the prize. He was very pleased with himself. Thank you, thank you, everyone, he said taking a bow, a bow, taking a bow. The rest of the family just sighed and rolled their eyes. And that was the Berenstain Bears, Bears Easter Parade. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.